Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Great to see you again. Midlife here. Uh, I did a, a quick install video for you guys. Um, I made, I put the LED side markers inside my uh, C6 Corvette over the weekend. Documented the process just so you guys could see uh, what that looks like. Uh, just to be transparent, it was a little harder than I anticipated. Not in a difficult way from a task standpoint, but be careful when you're reaching inside your car, guys. You're blind in there a little bit. I did slice up my arms pretty good. So I don't know if it was metal, fiberglass. Well, luckily my tetanus shots uh, up to up to date, so I don't have any worries on that or anything along those lines. But uh, but just be careful when you're reaching in there. You're kind of blind sometimes and popping stuff in and out because for me, I don't, I'm not the biggest person in the world. And I still slice my arms up and down. So um, just a, just a tip, guys. Be careful. But uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I installed uh, LED side markers in my C6 Corvette, and uh, I documented it for you guys. Hopefully, you find a lot of value out of these videos I'm making. I really enjoy uh, engaging with you guys in the community in the in the chat. So uh, so please keep the comments rolling in. I it's been it's been a blast growing this, and if you find value, please help me out by subscribing. It does nothing but encourages me to make more videos and grow. So uh, you know I don't like taking a uh, waste of time with all the interest. So let's jump in, guys. Come on. Just as you can see, a little bit underwhelming. One dot and a bunch of black, blank plastic right there. Kind of boring. So let's get these bad boys switched out. As you can see, the the front factory uh, side markers, like kind of like the rear ones, they uh, they leave a one little light bulb spot right here, and then just a bunch of uh, reflector right there. So the LEDs, I know they look great on these cars. Uh, looking forward to upgrading those, and we'll we'll walk through how they look right after. To get behind uh, the wheel in my C6 Corvette, the front wheel, to remove the uh, side marker, I just popped out these. Mine actually had tabs in it. I did some research. Um, some people say they're T15 screws. I have my, my T15 screwdriver torque bit right here. Uh, didn't have those in mine. So mine actually, I was able to pop them out with my fingernails, oddly enough, scary as that may sound. But yeah, these are mine, are just little, these little clips. So, and then just peel this back and reach inside and we're gonna push the side marker out and uh, put the LED in. All I did to pop this out was actually just reach my hand back inside in here and pop out the, uh, the light itself. If you can't see, right. There is the side marker light and just push it forward. All right, guys, quick little little replay here on how I got this out. So what I did is in the back here, after you peel back this piece of uh, plastic that protects your uh, your fender wall, peel that back. And then on the inside, you'll be able to feel the back of your LED side marker. And so what I did is I. I pinch the clip out and then it pops itself actually right out real easy. And then after that, the light bulb itself, you just, you have it, I've done, I did this a second ago, but slow it down just to show. Um, you pull the light bulb itself out. So mine's gonna be real loose because I actually just did this a second ago. Pop it out. And then we're gonna insert our LED side marker real quick. And all we have to do to insert that is actually just plug it in right into here. So one second. All right, guys. All right, guys. I plugged in the uh, the LED side marker itself here. Now it's going to be time to uh, to test it to make sure I have it in the right way before we actually insert it into the, the side of the car. I'm going to hit the, the lock. All right. Unlock, lock. Let's see. Now there's a switch on the back of this I, uh, I saw when I was playing it with this when I got it from uh, Vet Lights here a little bit ago. It has this little on-off switch with it. And so I was messing with it a few minutes ago and it changes the, the light up pattern a little bit. I actually like the other one better. So I'm gonna keep it on that then. This is the second one and I prefer actually this one where it, goes, it actually melts across rather than just uh, lights up at once. So. You can see the difference again. Here's the one I like. And here's the, uh, the, the other option for other people. 
So let's switch it back to the one I'm gonna put mine in when I insert it. And now before I put this back in, I'm gonna install the other one just to make sure that I have them all in there correctly and everything looks good. And I'll uh, be back in just a second. All right guys, in order to, uh, to remove the side marker on this side of the car over here, there's actually a, a number 15 torch screw right here that we're gonna pop out and that'll allow us to pull out the, uh, the actual rear tail light. And then we should be able to access this side marker a little bit easier. So we're gonna jump in real quick. I'll take this screw out and we'll dive right back in. See you guys in a second. So I'm gonna pop just the screw out. Set these to the side so I don't lose them. Carefully withdraw the headlight or the tail light assembly. And I don't want to bang it around or anything, so I'm just gonna gently set it here. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. I was initially kind of uh, worried about where I was gonna let it sit when I did this because I thought the weight from this thing might be a little bit excessive to, uh, to pull on that cable. It's very light, I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. All right, so I'm gonna reach my hand inside. I can actually see it pretty, pretty clearly now where we need to be. So if you can see, the side marker is gonna be located. So right there, and we're just gonna pop that out and uh, see you guys in a second. We'll walk through uh, what it looks like all right guys, so I reached my hand inside here. Just kind of show you a step-by-step -step process. Now, there's these clips on the inside of the side marker that you'll be able to feel when your hand is inside the groove itself. And you, what you do is you want to squeeze the, this one together and you want to squeeze the other one together as well. Uh, and the, the assembly itself will pop right out. And what I'm gonna do is pull this off and we'll plug and play with the new one. I'll put it on in here in, uh, in just a second and show you guys what it looks like. Be right back. Make sure you guys get the, the right hardware for the, the car. I got the uh, the side marker. It's going to be marked with an L on it, just like the uh, the front one was. You want to make sure you put the, the left ones on the left side of the car and the right ones on the right side of the car. Probably be pretty important during this, uh, this process of installation. And again, I'm going to play with the on and off switch and make sure I like the way it looks. I think I like that one a lot. Try the other one real quick, just so we can look. Yeah, we're going back to the other one. A little bit of pressure, popped it right in there. Just be gentle, don't, uh, don't push it uh, and ram it in there too hard. I'm gonna put the front one back in place as well right now, but I'm gonna insert the uh, the on and off switch back into the, the harness right here too. And just, uh, as I mentioned, gently press it in there. I left the plastic on it until after I got it in there. And after I get it in there, I'll rip that off here in just a second. But as I mentioned, just press it right in and it lines up pretty good. And then you can pull that plastic off. I'm gonna put the, the pieces back in my wheel well before I, I rip that plastic off next. But but it's coming and we're uh, we're pretty close to, to having these installed. Really like the look of them so far. I love the, the smoke look with the yellow. To me, it's kind of kind of completes the look of the car. So happy with that so far. All right, guys, and then for to insert the clips, just uh, reverse the process in which you uh, you pulled them out. I'm putting my clips back in. There's two pieces to mine. Um, like I said, some people have reported that they have uh, the T15 screw. I have these little plastic clips. So just put these back in. And uh, just this little, this little plastic piece, and all you have to do is just press it back in there like that. And uh, that's reinserted. So I'm going to do the last one and, you know, re rinse and repeat on the other side of the car. Last step in the process, you put your taillight back in, tighten it up with your number 15 torque screw back in here, um, reinsert it, and then you should be good to go. Make sure everything works. You just, I just use my key fob and, uh, and hit lock and unlock. Make sure all the lights on the car light up as they're supposed to and everything looks good. So... All in all, pretty easy installation, as you can see. Um, walk through it step by step, doesn't take too much. Um, you literally just need a screwdriver to, to change these out. So all in all, pretty easy mod. It really does enhance the look of the car. On the C6, those LED side markers to me, I like the, the smoke look, the black side markers, they make it pop quite a bit in my opinion, so.
Now we have our our side markers, our LED side markers, installed all the way around our C6 Corvette guys. And I really, really do like how these side markers look. I think they really are. Uh, they bring the car to, to the modern day in the century. They look a lot better than that little bulb that was just sitting in there. All in all, not, not too bad installing the LED side markers in the, the C6 Corvette. Just be a little cautious, as I mentioned at the, at the beginning of the video. Uh, when you're throwing your arms there kind of blindly, sometimes you may slice them up a little bit. Um, especially your arms have a little bit more girth to them than, uh, than other people's arms. But yeah, just be careful when you slide in there because there's all kinds of metal and fiberglass, things like that inside there. Uh, but all in all, not, not too bad. Hope you guys find a lot of value out of uh, this video. So please drop me a uh, like. And a subscribe means the world to me, guys. Comments, I love engaging with you guys in the chat. So thanks so much for watching once again. It's always fun making these videos. Talk to you guys soon.